Did they miss me? It's featuring me. Damn, did y'all miss me? Period. Like, did y'all miss me? But look, we back with another one. Okay, another one like DJ Khaled. That makes me so mad, but I still say it. Okay, cool. All right, so today we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about hood guys. White girls like hood guys. Yeah. And being a ride or die. Which I am not. No well, front. So you know I am not that. Okay. Um, I used to be. I'm well, not that well, let, well, let's talk about why you stopped. Why did you stop being why a ride or die? Why did I stop? Yes. Man, being a ride or die. Bro, you get cheated on. You get. Bro, the treatment is trash. Like, people make it more glamorous than what it really is. Like, it ain't even really worth it. In all honesty, it's really not worth it. Like, you getting cheated on. Uh, you don't know when your nigga coming home. Ooh, I said, ooh, my bad. Yeah. Like, you don't know. Like, you don't know who he with. So, do you think, like, women become rotterdized for, like, money purposes? Or do I don't think, think they just dead on in love. Like, for me, I was dead on in love. Like, mm -hmm. I, I loved him. Love is overrated. I feel like it is now. Love is really overrated. Um, because you can fall in love with anybody. But not but that's not anybody. Love. That's not, like, but yeah. You know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I fell in love with potential. So I'm pushing oh, you yeah. to get to where I see you be. Yeah, I do think so, you do that a lot. That's why I tend. That's why I'm not a ride or die anymore. Cause, mm. And plus, I can't go to jail for somebody. Else. I'm not going to jail for nobody. Orange, I love the color, but I don't like orange jumpsuits. That's not for me. I'm not going to lie. I look really good in this yellow, but I think any color I look good in. Not to be cocky or nothing, but any right. color I would look good Sounds in. Good. It's confidence, not cockiness. It's confidence. Yeah, it's confidence. Um, But no, I'm, I'm not going to be in an orange jumpsuit. Sorry. Not sorry. So, hood guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you think females feel the need to date a hood guy? Yeah. To me, mm. I, I'm always the fighter, okay? I'm tired of being the fighter. I'm tired. Like, fighter? Like, like, fighter the like you want to <laughs> No, 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 not like that. Like, oh. like, say a dude disrespect you. Oh. Type situation. So you want to protect her. Yeah. Okay. I'm tired of always being the protector. So... Mm. Why can't you protect me? What kind of guy? What kind of guys you can date with? Be the protector. I'm quite a bit scared. You know of one of them, so yeah. But I ain't know you had to be the protector in that um, one. It would be everything. I don't know. I think, but I like. I I don't know. Like I like the idea of hood love. Hood love is great, and I'm not like I'm not saying. I don't know how to put it, but I. I don't know. I think, guys, mm -hmm. I think maybe a lot of females would prefer a hood dude because of his attitude. And they I feel, feel like, I feel like that you know, too. You know, oh, I can pop like, off at the mm -hmm. map and they're going to be like, you know, shut that up. I ain't going to do that with you. Mm -hmm. And then, like, that comes off as attractive. But on the flip side, it also can at times come off as abusive too. But I don't know. I think you know. And then plus, I, you know, they for me, own. I like hood guys because they're completely opposite for me. I'm from the suburbs. Same from the suburbs. Yeah, sure. I, I like a guy who's opposite for me. Like that can handle my mouth. That can handle me. Like to be to shut. Shut your ass up. Okay. All right. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> just cause <laughs> just cause you said it. Right. But I, at the same time, there's a lot that comes with it. Mm -hmm. That comes with the hood guy. Like you don't know if that nigga, you don't know if that man is coming home. Not even that. I just don't want to be caught up in the drama of his life. Let's like let's say oh, a drug are. deal go wrong and they know where you, you are living. They you know where right. I live. In. You are right. Okay. I don't. I don't want to be caught up in the drug deal. I ain't even know about. It. I don't want nobody coming to kidnap me and tie me up. Even though they gonna take me back because I talk too much. So, but I still feel like I don't want to be kidnapped because of something my man did. I ain't know he did. Did I tell you or my coworkers told me that? They were like, don't get kidnapped. I was like, they gonna bring me back. 
Okay. They gonna bring me back. Cause look, they gonna be like she eat too much. No, no, it's not that I eat too I much. Do. I eat luxury, okay? I don't eat I McDonald's eat. and all that. No, take me to Saltgrass. Take me to Texas Roadhouse. Take me to Outback. Take me to Red Lobster. And I mean, I want it just as much as other people be wanting Burger King and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it's a difference in classification because it's not. I'm just saying I like what I like. Burger King and McDonald's don't fill me up no more. Okay? All right, love you, Red Eater. Thank you. I look, I can't even talk because... Give me some crab legs. Can we stop for crab legs? I don't eat seafood. I love seafood. I don't. Girl, I'll be I'll be in the passion to see. Where we go eating? You gonna feed me? Okay. You, you can keep me if you gonna feed me. Look, keep me and me if you gonna feed me well, pay me well, but I ain't doing nothing funny for it, okay? You gonna do something strange for a piece of change. Ain't that for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I don't play that. But you know, if you gonna pay me. But I think a lot of the times, like, movies, movies tend to yeah. um, romanticize, like, hood guys. Like, they they have, like, this hard gold. Like, they're really soft. But, but they're they've not. been hurt so many times that like, it causes them to kind of be, not, I don't want to say stubborn, but it kind of causes them to be. To have trust old. issues. To have yeah. trust issues. To have trust issues. But I think everybody has to get over the fact that everybody has trust issues. No, really. Don't look at me like that. I know I'm really? Not I know I'm not shit. Oh, really? I know I'm not shit. How you gonna say everybody gotta get over it and you ain't over it? This ain't about me. Mm. You ain't gonna put me out This is the right Raven channel, ain't it? First of all, it's right, but all right, cool. This your name, Raven. So, but first of all, we not talking about me. I am working on it, okay? I am working on it. I haven't been to my psychologist lately, but I'm working on it. No, they cost too much. That's why. No, actually, mine is free. Really? Yes, on insurance. She is free. Oh, wow. We do apologize for these side conversations, y'all, but. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> A mental health check is always good. But if we want to talk about me, yes, I got trust issues. I do. I do, and I know it. I am working on that. Well, the first step to it is always admitting to it, okay? I passed the first step. All right, we're on the second one. What's the second step? Getting over it. Oh, I thought there was like two or three more steps before getting over it. Okay. Okay. Pray to God. That'd be step two. Mm, that's a conversation for another day. Okay. Because mm, I'm not too big on the whole... God thing. What's the whole God thing? Like, like I said, that's I'm not too big on it. Like I'm not big on like my mom says, like you can't see air, but you breathe it. But there's a scientific explanation for air. There is no scientific explanation for God. Science say I came from a monkey. Well, I can see it. I don't look like no monkey. I I can definitely see it. I I, I can see been. I can see a little monkey looking like me. That's good. Just because your face is puffy. Yep, kind of fat. Don't yeah. mean kind of fat. She came from monkey. I ain't had no tail. I am definitely you know, not hairy. I mean, I don't even have eyebrows. I'm or eyelashes. So that shows you that I'm I'm hairy. I'm the fuck. I tell you, I'm hairy. My arms hairy. My face hair, like, there's no other way to put it. Like, our bodies are covered in hair. Never mind. I don't even know hair on my legs. Look at hair on my arms. I grow hair on my arms. Sometimes I just shave it just to have some shave, yeah. I wish I would be broke. Nice. I got, I got my daddy's on here. So. Yeah. But back on the topic of yeah. hood dudes or whatever, you know. I just felt like it's not really all what people make it to, to be. Like, yeah. oh, that was just um a case. What's that boxer's name? It starts with a G. Javante. Yes. Hell, yes. so cute. Okay. <laughs> but we no. all got our different types of dudes. But the way he just snatched his baby mama out. To oh be, man, I watched that. I said, me. "Girl, watch it." I said, "That could never be me." Because for Can what? You Fight Excuse you. me, ain't no man gonna ever make a fool out of me like that. Sir, I would have to fight you. I'm sorry. Like, 
You we gonna have to fight. The oh. way he just snatched like it, it'd be he one snatched of, her soul, bro. He he snatched her like, soul. Like her soul, but she somebody. had no choice but to get up. I mean, and me, I am a, a very sane person, calm and everything. But the second you grab me like that, that's when I become unholy. Okay, I'm going to forget where I came from because ain't no man ever going to grab me like that. I just feel like a lot of people, they they glamorize the life of ride or die girls. Like, Not look at Gucci. Like, look at Gucci and uh, Keisha. Yeah. Look at them. Um, who else? Now, I'm not saying that, you know. Look at that being a young boy. You can't be a couple of Pause. Pause. Look at that being a young boy. Like, he bounced from relationship to relationship. Don't he got herpes? I don't know. I don't know no more. Can you? I don't know. But he, bro, he, he stayed bouncing from girl to girl. And, like, these girls be cool with him. And he got, like, what? Like, 10 kids? And he did put his hands on one of the girls. He did. He, didn't he get into a whole altercation? Mm -hmm. But this is what I think, though, about the Gucci Mane situation. Don't get me wrong, okay? If you love a man, you love him. Sometimes love make you do foolish things. Every woman is different. Now, if she want to stay with him, wow, well, this that is her. It was in the past. It was in the past. Now, but that is her. Had. But if she want to stay with him while he doing jail time and, and all that and while he cheating in the public eye and stuff like that, and just like to Pretty me, that would be embarrassing to me. Yeah, it, it just has you out here looking stupid. And it's like the tabloids don't go away, especially because y'all are famous. Right. So, right. I mean, if you want to go through that just to get to your perfect guy, your knight in shining armor, you do that. But me, I ain't got the heart to. Hold on, pause. Did you say knight in shining armor? Girl, look. Knight in shining, shining armor. armor. If, that's, if that's what you got to do to get to him, you do that. But for me, I am not staying with a man that can't appreciate what I am doing because I'm going to make sure you eat good, you're making money, you're bathing good, you're living what good. Are you living no, but that's what I feel like, you know, we both should contribute to make sure each other is good. I understand what you're saying, but I feel like there's a certain extent to that because at one point, yeah, like we're good on that front. Yeah, we're trying to build together. But at the same time, I should not be acting. I should not be treating you like your mom. I'm going to make sure you eat good. I'm going to make sure you do this good. Blah, 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 blah. But a, a lot of the times, girls start to do wifey, res, like start having wifey responsibilities from like cleaning and cooking for this man. But then don't have the title for it. Well, in my case, I think it's okay to do that with somebody that you know for sure you can see a future with that you know for sure that uh you plan on to marry and it's not just one sided it's on both sides i don't see nothing wrong with it because but I you're gonna like, be doing it either way i feel like at the age that we're at because i'm 23 i'm at the age where i'm dating like yeah i'm dating the date but i'm also dating for a relationship like something future wise. They so, can marry. Yeah, it's pretty I didn't want to say everybody did, but okay. But you wanna eventually date okay. you wanna yeah, get married yeah, yeah. and have little baggies or whatever. Mm -hmm. So my kids aren't gonna be bad. Raven if they got a mouth like you, they gonna be bad. Whatever, man. Whatever. Yes. But like I just feel like a lot of the times I wouldn't say because a lot of times you give guys more than one chance. If you ever notice it, a guy always messes up the first chance. They always do. I have I have failed to see not one guy mess up one chance. Like my parents, well, define mess up. Not like, like not like a big, not like a big mess up, but like a mess up. What what's my a mess up okay. to you? So my mom and my stepdad, they met on they, they met on eHarmony, bro. Oh, not bad, you know. Met on e Shout out to E Harmony for connecting loves. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks for E Harmony because um I wouldn't have the dad I have today. Thank you for Facebook because that's how I got my man. Huh. Go ahead. I ain't got no man, but I. It's okay because one is gonna come and he's being made for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But um, they met. They went on their first date, and after their first date, they were like, "Yo, we kind of don't like each other." <laughs> And so 
so, like that though. So my mom, she calls, my mom liked him or whatever. And she was like, she calls him and she tells him, hey, when can we go out again? And he says, let me check my schedule. Let me see when I'm free. Let me see when I'm open. He wasn't, I think it was like August. He wasn't open till like November. Bro. My mom was like, yeah, I don't like him no more. At all. She did not like him. So then they went, they finally set the time aside to go on their first, like their second date. Mm -hmm. And they actually hit it off. Well, you know, I don't think, not every man is going to be perfect. And especially in the beginning, you both are still trying to figure each other out. So you're not going to be 100% open to that person knowing that you just met that person. Because your guard is like, okay, who are you? What are you trying should to Should I do? trust you? Yeah, should I trust you? So are you about to course. use whatever I tell you against me? Right, so of course I think well, in the I beginning. I have to fight you later? It'll be a lot of mess ups in the like, beginning because mm -hmm. of that. You know, you're still trying to get to figure out who you're dating. But I think over time, you know, y'all are going to continue to make mistakes. But that's what helps you grow. That's yeah, what helps especially you as a person. get into a better relationship. Because I'm not going to lie to you. My last, <laughs> my only two relationships. They Can they were call it a relationship? I don't mean. What is it called? Um, a a partnership. No, no, no. It's a parasitic relationship. Yeah. Um, but it it built a lot. It built a lot of character for me. I wasn't when I first started dating. I was really naive. I was like, mm, I was just willing to trust everybody. Right. Now, mm, yeah, you're not getting past the wall. Raven, hey, let's let's get together. First of all, I don't really like people. So for me, if I if I hang out with you, just feel great that I hang out with you because I don't make time for people like that. Not only that, but I got I got trust issues. So you asking me questions about myself, like tell me about yourself. No, tell me about yourself. Right. And but, enough, enough talking about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> but at the same time, how do you expect somebody to open up to you if you don't open up to them? Where could that relationship go if you're not at least, I'm not saying give it your all in the beginning because it is a fresh relationship. But why not, you know, open up to some sort to at least have a conversation so because both sides can when, get to know. when you normally open up, the first questions are, why are you single? And then I have, I get that a lot. Um, you like, what's your favorite? It's color? always why, why, uh, why are your favorite color? That's basic. Mm -hmm. I, why are you single? Like, or you're too cute to be single. What does that even look like? Or what, what happened in your last relationship? relationship exactly. That's the one that I get. I don't know. I, why are you single? I hate that question because it's like, I know back then I was kind of toxic. It's kind of toxic. Well, I'm but not really toxic like that. But I was, I had toxic ways. Right. There was ways that I let people push me to a certain point that I should never let people push me to. But I learned a lot about myself as a person that I, I like. I don't get close to people like that. I shouldn't get close to people because you can't accept. You can't expect yourself from somebody else. Right. And me, I love hard. I love really hard. So if you're my friend, bro, I'm riding for you. Like, call me any time of day. Hey, Raven, I need this. All right, let's do it. Right. I'm always willing to give my last, but a lot of people aren't willing to do that. So I tend to stay to myself because it's, I tend to get, my feelings tend to get hurt. Right. My feelings tend to get hurt because it's, look, for me, I have to sit here and watch you not even really watching, but it's just like, I have to sit here, oh, wait a minute, I need this. Okay, then I do it. I just feel like I'm bringing more to a, like, a relationship or a friendship right. than you're bringing. Right. And for me, I don't feel like that's fair. And another thing is, for me, when it comes to good guys, I'm, I'm scared. But I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, because sometimes it's hard to tell when you're actually in the presence of a real, real 
man. Exactly. And it's and not because sad. he's not showing you that he's a real man. It's just the simple fact that. But everything you know, always starts off so nice. Yeah. It starts off so sweet and so nice. And then, then like a, a switch, like flips. You one little argument, one little argument, like the biggest test of your relationship is then. Not even that, but like this, like switch flips on somebody, and that's what I'm scared of. Like for me, I'm giving you, hey, this raven, like, yes, I got a, I got a smart ass mouth. You're gonna see that from Rip. You're gonna see I got a smart ass mouth. Low key, I'm mean. Which is another reason why I mean, a lot of females say hood dudes because they know how to, and not that they know how to handle baby, baby, baby but they that's, that's, it. Is that weird? But I like to be baby too. Like, I want to be like baby me. I think everyone would like that. I'm going to be mean to you, but baby me, we can be mean to each other. <laughs> no, because I, this is my thing. Like, I'm cool with, you know, being blunt and having like, you know, um, a tough heart or whatever, loving heart or whatever. But, you know, I can only be mean so much before no. my feelings actually get hurt. No. And that's just me. Like, we can go back and forth. We can joke. Hee, 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 hee. Ha, 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 ha. But at the end, you can tell me I'm cute and I'm beautiful and let me go to sleep. Because if you don't, guy, it hurt. Like, he was super nice. Like, super nice to me at first. Like, I knew he was mean. He was so unapproachable. So unapproachable. He approached me, actually. And... Like, every time we used to hang out, like, say we wake up the next morning, bro, he wake up, good morning, ugly. I'm not ugly in the morning, but it's all right. But it's cool like, when you, you know, know that they joking, but sometimes us women, especially when it's that time of the month, okay, that is the one time that you no, not no, play no, with no, no, we're not bringing that up. You want to know why? Yeah. Because guys always use that, like, oh, it's because yeah. you're because it's that time of the month. No. Yeah. So, so Look, for different different strokes for different folks. For me, when it's that time of the month, I'm nothing to be played with. If you drop a pen incorrectly, I'm mad automatically. Don't even do it. Okay. If you blink too many times, I'm mad. Don't even do I, it. I know who not to be around. I just be going through it sometimes. Because that's why I blink way too can't, much. You can't when I got lashes on, girl, I be blinking. Okay, that's because they look heavy on the eyes. Though. Yep. But, you know, my feelings just get hurt quickly when it's that time. And it's completely normal because my hormones are changing. And I'm trying to control it. But, you know, it gets hard sometimes. Okay? But, you know, I love to joke around cool. <laughs> Yo, mama, this show. No, no. Don't talk about mom. No, no, don't talk about mom. I, I, get I can only talk about but, mom. But, you know, I talk about boy. You know, you flood and stuff like that. Oh, you thought you was cute today or whatever. Oh, what are you that's talking about? That's how you do Nah. I'm saying that's how but I examples, you know. But, no, but I'm just saying that's how y'all joke. No, nah, we got different kinds of jokes. Mm, no. Cause it depends. It depends on like my nice day and then my mean day. Like my nice day, like say you get that fresh haircut. Boy, who, where you going? Who you going out looking that fine for? Mm, who you going to see? So then what you say on a mean day when you got a fresh cut? Nigga, you gotta face only your mama to love. Damn. That's hurtful. Just saying. Yeah. Sometimes, you know. But, like, I feel things. like, for me, because I was just talking to my, uh, one of my other friends about this. I'm not the sentimental type. I am, like, if I really like you, yes, I'll be sentimental. But for me, you know, I don't look at people in an adoring manner. I, I have, like, this death stare. <laughs> I have a death stare. I just stare at them. That's really awkward, man. Not like, not on purpose. It's just I have a resting bitch face. Yeah. And. They're still awkward. Like. Looking at somebody. I've seen some, like, I've looked at somebody, like, I've adored them. Like, they just talked to me and I just adored them, the fuck out of them. But now, I just kind of look at people, like. Because I don't ever know what, like, I don't ever know what anybody, if they're going to, if our friendship's going to work out. If our relationship's going to work out. And I kind of. That part kind of scares me because I don't want to get close. I don't want to keep getting close to people. But I feel like because I feel like the more every time I get close to somebody and they do something that I don't like, I tend to become more untrust, more untrustworthy of people. But at the same time, some people are in your life for seasons, and some people are in your life for a lifetime. And so, even though those type of people come into your life, it's not to so what kind of discourage you. So, so what are you? 
Girl, I'm amazing. Okay, I'm the best in the world. I'm just, I'm that friend. Okay, I'm just, wow. I'm that friend. Okay, great destiny. I'm that friend you share your life goals with. I'm that friend that will pull up legally, knowing the law, Lord, so that I know. What's the, what's the I know. I ain't gonna tell you what I know, but just know I know I'm gonna be okay. We gonna be okay. I know we gonna be okay in the end. I don't know about that person, but you know, we gonna be okay. Cause I'm that friend that always got receipts and proof to make sure I'm covered. We covered. You know, so. First of all, y'all, she keeps saying I. Cause I'm talking. But, so, but you keep saying I, nigga. Then we, I said we. we. I said we. we. I said, I look, I said we. But, but I'm going to make sure we good because I'm not, the, again, I don't go to jail for nobody. I ain't no ride or die, okay? I don't uh, want to be in there with Big Mary and I, Big Pat. I don't want to be in there with I'm them. scared. I'm scared. Okay, I told you. I'm scared because if I ever do something around her and they pull up and be like, did she do this? Girl, I'm just Yes. Yes, she did. She did. Look, she did it. Look, I'm going to tell know. you. She did it by herself. I'm going to tell you like I told my boyfriend. If you're going to do something and you it's a crime, around. make sure that, that it, like, give me some type of signal that you finna do something, but just, like, don't have me involved. So if I ever get questioned for you, I could be like. Because if she knows, she's snitching. They may make me take, like, a lie detective test. She's and snitching. Then, All right, 6 9 you done? Look. Look, I, first of all, 69, okay, I'm not mad at him. If you try to do something with somebody I was involved with, and you're supposed to be my friend or whatever, and then on top of it, girl, he's on top of many rap, like how many people? He snitched, first of all, bro, in this case, I, I just snitched too. That's I ain't gonna lie. The they part, part, that, was the the part that was the funniest was. When people thought that he told on 21 Savage not being a U.S. citizen. Okay. We I all was knew dead. That. We knew that. I was oh, dead. Oh. Now, I didn't know he was from the U.K. That was something I was pretty shocked with. I thought he was from Atlanta. You know, I'm just saying, I didn't hear no exit in there. You know, 21, 21. I didn't hear it. But anyway, just saying, if anybody was to steal millions from me and beat me up and, you know, planning to kill me, I'm going to snitch on you too. I'm, you can find him at 21. 21 Lane Street. He's at the red house with the black car parked outside. You should go during this time because you'll yeah. run into him. I'm doing all this because I ain't going to jail for nobody. Y'all have learned not to do anything in front of Destiny. Again, I am not a ride or die, and I'm telling you beforehand if you're looking for one, shoes, go past me because I ain't no ride or die. She's not, she not on top of wife, y'all. She is not. Well, wait a minute because he got money. Okay. So it depends so, on how much money you got, Destiny. If he's a billion, he a billionaire. You know, if he in jail, he don't have really access to that. Unless they seize his money, then they ain't got no I'm pretty sure they it. did seize it. But if they, big, they, they can, they, but they can seize his money. But I'm pretty sure he's a smart drug lord to have some extra money on the side just for me. Now he got a pretty fee, so that pretty fee, I'm a. I mean, no how lot in class. Yeah, and they can get a translator. I don't know Spanish either. I took six years of Spanish to still don't know it, but that's okay. That's a whole other story. I took Spanish to pre AP and I we cheated. Don't don't ever say that on camera. Why? What if one day they try to go back and take that from you and you rather take that again? Girl, that was in high school. I graduated five years ago. I don't know. You know nowadays they be trying to take stuff away from you that you already got, you know. They, okay, did well, they did it to Bill Cosby. Well, the teacher helped us cheat, too. Oh, well, when the teacher helped you cheat, that's a different story. So, it, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, y'all. We kind of just, like, went over, like, a lot. In, a, in like... We covered more than, like, right. hood and dudes. Yeah, we covered, my guys, we covered why I got trust issues. But, again, okay, I'm not a ride or die. But, if yeah. If you cheat on me, I'm gone. If you committing crimes that can hurt me or my family, I'm gone. Because Look, I ain't gonna do all that. This, this is how we gonna end the video. Mm hmm So, this is, yeah, this is the way we gonna end the video. Is, like, I'm working on my trust issues. If you got issues, work on it. Work on it.
Like I said, I go to a psychologist almost every week. Okay, I haven't been to her, back to her since like last year. But I normally go to her every week. Don't do it. I didn't say nothing. I saw your face. I, did, I was just a little horrible. So, work on your issues. Nobody has to be there for your issues. Mental treatment. health. Mental health is really important. Yeah. Super important. Yeah. You always got to do a mental health check. Yeah. At least, what, three? I would say three or four times a week. Cause oh, that's a little expensive. That's, that's a, no, that's not what I'm talking about. You can do a mental health check by yourself. You don't do actually go to a psychologist's office. How mentally ill person you want to do a mental check on yourself? I didn't think about that. But mental health checks are always good. You know, I was how you send you check on me. I check on you. You know what? There are that's tests it. online that you can take to see where your mental health is. I've taken a few. Yeah, I do in college, so. I didn't have to do that. Yeah. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all, what, next week? My socials is, I think it's underscore I am destiny. But if you put in I am destiny, you can probably find me. And it's not spelled with a lot. Okay, it's spelled with an I. Thank you. It's spelled with an I. I. Like, <laughs> destined. Because my mama say I was destined to be a girl. She said that because my daddy had like five boys. I, I ain't gonna lie. My I'm mama said my name came out the Bible. I'm so happy she didn't name me Destiny though because that was in the baby book. Really? Yeah, that was in the book. Yeah. Maybe I might go over my baby book with y'all one day. Y'all might see. Y'all might see some really like embarrassing photos of me. Yeah. But yeah. Bye y'all. See y'all later.